current education system. What do you think about the current education system that we have? That's a really broad question. Well, you said you like <laughs> opinion, so go for it. Give us okay, a, I drunk, I don't have a strong opinion on things I don't know anything about. You want to talk about like colleges? You want to talk about like K twelve? I mean, 12, you or? think go go through both. You know, yesterday Kyle had a lot of strong opinions on. You know, uh, we should forgive all the college debt, all that stuff. But I'm talking more the format, like our educational system, K through 12, and you can go into college as well. I read a quote a long time ago. Uh, I don't remember who it was from, but somebody. I, the quote that I read was that if you were to pull somebody out of the 18th century and you were to transport them into today, the only thing they would recognize would be the schools. That like we have a way of educating people, and we've done it for like hundreds of years, and we that seem quote's to be... completely false. Okay, well it we seems didn't like have schools in the 1700s. Nobody got educated anywhere in the. We 1700s. didn't have schools in the 1700s. We didn't have schools. You're like saying school that they systems, would recognize the schools. We, there we were no schools have... in England or whatever. People weren't like getting... there must have been some no, sort of schools. colleges, but not schools. Okay, okay colleges. I'm, my sorry, but not um, schools. So they wouldn't recognize the school system. Okay. Can we, what is our terms? Does college not count as school or? Mm -mm. Okay. When you say schools, you mean K through 12. We call college colleges. Okay. Well, I don't mean that, but maybe for the purpose of this conversation that we can mean that. Okay. College is a separate thing from school. Um, <clears throat> I feel like there are a couple of, if we're talking about like classes, I feel like there are a few basic classes that like every student should be required to take that we don't. Um, so things like a basic home ec class, um, I think a basic psych and a basic philosophy course, I think would be really important. Um, like just a couple of the things that help us like exist in the world and like file our taxes and be like a little bit critical of like the things we watch. Um, and then I know that largely speaking, I know that we've got troubles in schools that throwing more money, at least in some places, doesn't seem to help. But I think schools are hard because sometimes that's like the last stop of like a whole bunch of problems prior to that. Right. If you've got a kid coming from like a single parent family who is not getting much sleep, whose household is in like a really, you know, fucked up area. Um, you know, at that point, how much can a particular like K through 12 school actually do for the child? I'm not entirely sure. Um, uh, past that, if we're talking about colleges, um, I I. I think colleges are pretty okay in the United States. Um, we have our really good schools that people all around the world come to get educated in. Um, I think that people opt too much for out-of-state schools. You, you've got people talking about, I've got you know 200000 in debt, and it's like, oh, okay, cool, are you a doctor? And they're like, no, I'm like a mechanical engineer, but I did like seven years of like out-of-state you know, plus tuition and board and everything, and it's like, why the fuck did you do that? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think That's largely point. speaking, I think that like the college stuff is okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of student loan forgiveness. Um, why not? Uh, I, I, <laughs> okay. I, coming from like a working poor background before I got into streaming, I feel like the middle class asks for a lot of tax breaks sometimes. And when I look at like really working poor people, I'm like, damn, these people are fucked. Okay. And you want to have your student loan debt forgiven when you're going to go on to become some of the like the top tier earners in all of society. I think if you look at the, I know that, Very the, interesting. yeah, the cost of education has grown, but the average amount of time to pay back a degree based on getting a degree, I think is about the same as it always has been. That, 20 years um, to pay back your debt. That's the average. I think it's, long it I takes. thought it was 15, but it, it might be. 20 to I guess 21 maybe for you know yeah but like, go-getters yeah. like you you can do it in 15 but on average I think it's 19 <laughs> sure. 20 years maybe yeah um but the 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 people that earn college degrees go on to become the highest earners in society so if we're going to target stimulus towards any part of like the economy I'd rather go towards people that are like working poor and not towards people that are like engineers that just want to get rid of like a 500 600 dollar a month like student loan debt payment you're saying targeting stimulus Tar or, like or anything like, like, we like talk about rather like than spend the money yeah. to pay off people's debt that, that they chose to incur themselves in mm -hmm. order to get ahead in this life. That they're going to be rewarded for. Well, there are let's, limits to it. And, and by the way, the, poor, the whole the Biden $10,000 know, student loan it didn't pass, correct? This correct. was something, well, it, it didn't happen. It, it got, passed, it got struck down. I think it's, down. Being it's, I think it's in the It stalled in, in the Supreme I Court, I want to say. I think it's in the new point. point is nobody got the $10,000 or $20,000 I know the site was open and I know people were putting in applications. I don't know if anybody's gotten it yet. Don't get me started on these sites. They're crashing. On the websites, um, but the the but there were limitations. I think if you made over one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, you did not qualify. Yeah, and then people with Pell grants were qualified for up to twenty thousand. If you Correct. were going to do it, I think it was probably the best way to do it. And it's a maybe a good way to get young but people you know, to vote, even though you, they don't otherwise. You but. even point this out, like uh, I'll say this: college prep and career readiness is a Ponzi scheme. 
They got your kid for 12 years. They've already convinced you, and they have the, they've got 12 years to convince the kid you, you need to go to college because if you don't go to college, you're screwed. And so mm-hmm. you got to go to college. And what is that? That's that's just you got to pay a lot of money to a school somewhere so that you have a college degree. And it's there in nowhere in school do they say why you have to go to college. It's just so that you can earn the money. Mm-hmm. But but it's it's not like let's make a plan for you. If you go to this school, it will cost you eighty thousand dollars total over four years, and then you have this potential of this earning. No, you can go for basket weaving, and get two hundred thousand dollars in debt or whatever, and you completely unemployable. And so my point is, the whole thing is at this point, it's just a Ponzi scheme. It might be based on data that came from 50 years ago. But at this point, you know, we got to wake up and smell the coffee. Kids don't necessarily have to go to college. And you you went to school, you graduated. No, I failed. Okay. Well, you, I had to work too much. Yeah. I right. Quit, yeah. So you, so you're a dropout. Wait, Zuckerberg. <laughs> Zucker, well, not, not, come on. Not, not everybody can do what I do though. I got no. Really but Zuckerberg's yeah. a dropout. Gates is a dropout. Hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. They dropped out people of Harvard. Like, people like Bill Gates and Zuckerberg quit school because they were too busy working on projects. Right. If you're a guy that's failing, like remedial algebra, and you yeah. quit school, you're not going to become the next Gates no, or but, Zuckerberg. But bear with me. What I I'm saying is you do not have to have a college degree to succeed in life. And so setting up a child and saying you have to have a college degree in order to succeed is a false paradigm. It's just false. It's there a- are a lot of people who succeed. In fact, most of my friends, I don't know, did you did you graduate? Okay. Most of my friends who are entrepreneurs, who are mm-hmm. self-starters, who are successful in life did not go to college and did not graduate or did go to college for a short term and figured it out and didn't graduate. And so my point is it's a Ponzi scheme. I I if now I may, they're all in debt and now they're all saying, "Hey, government, bail I, me out." I think I think you're doing a disservice to college. Hear me out. Um because there's parts of what you're saying that I agree with, and there's parts of the of what you're saying that I I just think is not, oh not the best portrayal. The only of other this. person I've ever met that's yes. actually to defend college on a show. Yeah, Go well, yeah, well I'm because <laughs> th- there's different strokes for different folks. Um, when you say that college is a Ponzi scheme, it it depends on the. This is why I think the decisions you're making when you're 17 and 18 are the most important decisions of your life. Like, where am I going to school? You really have to do the ROI on college. Because it's been proven that's that a right. high You're school completely unprepared to make those decisions. Totally agree. Hear Youth is wasted on the young. Yeah, that's true. true. <laughs> but it's been proven that if you look at the math, that if a high school degree, you'll earn a million dollars over your lifetime. A million per co- college. Uh, a no, million two more million dollars. Right? Exactly yeah. two million dollars, which you which you will earn on a college degree. Okay, and then it, as you get a, a PhD or a master's, you can earn lifetime earnings on average three, four, five million. Right now, for every Bill Gates that drops out, Mark Zuckerberg that drops out, or PBD that is go to college. There's hundreds and thousands of people that are just average people. So that's why I totally agree with you on this. Here's the problem that that I think is lacking in America, is there's there, there is a need for technical schools, right? These vocational schools. But the problem is, if you're going to go to high school, right? You're going to go K through 12, and you're taking all these classes, algebra, biology, math, this, that, and they say, hey, by the way, after high school, you should go become a plumber. What 18-year-old kid is going to be like, I've been in school this whole time, and now you want me to go back to being a plumber? And what they don't understand is some plumbers will make 100 grand a year, and you might only make 40 grand a year Maybe if with your liberal arts degree. New York. Be and, careful, but, well, okay. Yeah. but So you're making my point for me. No, but the point is this, is that that no... Very few people are going to go through school for 18 years or 12 years and then be like, all right, let me go be a plumber or a sewage guy or a garbage man. But the, even but though the ROI true. on that that's, is greater than that's true. sometimes a college only degree. Only because of the whole college prep and career readiness Ponzi scheme. That's the only reason that Wait, that's true. Why is true. it a Ponzi scheme? If you get a exactly. degree, you get because compensated of, for because it. Because it's like a pyramid scheme. It's like you pay in on the bottom and then as as more people pay in you will get more money on the outcome yeah but you don't except get that, that for a yes. lot of people Wait, they don't get that's the that's only if you get the indoctrination no, 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 no. of that you have to go to the like, some out of state school and spend 50 grand a year if you're okay with going to community college and taking basic classes well, and paying the, your way here's the thing. If you can you, get out of you can well, get out of college that's, 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 not a a Ponzi, that's not a ponzi scheme a ponzi scheme relies for you to get the money at the top from new people coming in at the bottom that's right but when you if you go and get a degree in nuclear engineering you're not getting money from the school you go out in the job market you get paid in the job market that's not a 
Ponzi scheme. Well, it is because when the government comes in and, and bails out everybody's student loans and all of that, then it's all it's all of a piece. Well, okay, one so that hasn't like happened a, yet. It's like a whole feeder thing. But yeah, but happen. that hasn't happened yet. And two, if school, how many Ponzi schemes could you kill immediately? And like every single person that is like mm -hmm. graduated would still be making money. That's not my, a Ponzi scheme. Right? But okay, so my my point is that it's a setup. OK, because there, there are plenty of, of kids who really shouldn't be going to college. They're right. much better served not going to college. And there are plenty of kids in college who are being disserved by being taught things that simply aren't true about themselves and about life in general. That's a different story. So for me, I think what, what, what you guys are saying is everybody here has a point uh, and everybody here is making a good counter argument to the other person. This is what I would say to say all of it. Like I want doctors to go to college. Like STEM is I don't know, I don't I don't think you're saying that. I think STEM, you need to go to school for STEM. I'm not gonna have somebody work on my dad's heart that's never gone to school and hasn't gone and done, you know, additional things no, you need to be a heart surgeon. Yeah. I, I, I want And I'm not saying that nobody should go to college. Right. You're saying what I'm saying is that the, the rule shouldn't be sure. simply applied. I think the part I have a challenge with is the following area. The part I have a challenge with is the fact that you know, for every one conservative professor, there's 13 liberal. That's the problem. For every, like, for example, the one thing you got to give so much credit to the left is they understood if you want to control the way people think, go control universities, okay? Yeah. You got to do that. But by the way, Republicans were lazy on it. It's true. They have one school, which is what, Hillsdale? And maybe you got a couple other Christian schools that you got, you know, Bible schools that you got. What else do the Republicans, even the, even Duke nowadays is what, is Duke on the is left. To, yeah, Duke gone. is not the Duke of Yale 30 years ago. Gone. Yeah, Harvard. So, gone. Uh, so, all so, gone. so what the Republicans, rather than taking the money that they had in creating some real universities, they just said, nah, I'm going to go out there and just do my business stuff. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to go out. You need a pen? Yeah. Can I you give, give them a pen if you don't mind? Yeah, thank you. So, I think that part is a mistake of the right. You know, like right now, the left is losing their minds because Elon Musk bought Twitter. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they've been controlling media for how long now? God knows how long. Mm -hmm. That's strategically a good move on them. So Elon comes in, he starts exposing everything, and they're like, yeah, Twitter files, don't even talk about it on mainstream media. They're scared shitless. That's how you compete. You compete that way. I, 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 yeah, I, we've lost the competition because they've now they've they've indoctrinated all of the teachers K through 12. So our schools are gone. That's a lazy think, side of Republicans. Do you though. think? But it doesn't matter because it's the kids now that are. Well, that I don't are disagree being with taken. you. I don't disagree with you. And, well, and you think that we we have a we have a chance to fight for the Second Amendment? I, I, the Second Amendment is gone because all of the kids today disagree. that are going to. Yeah. Uh, to zero tolerance schools are learning that guns are bad. Yeah. And, Full stop. But but okay. So then the question for me becomes, if if a, a, as a capitalist and a and a person myself that I'm fiscally conservative, as a capitalist, I like to say, what are you doing about it, Pat? That's my mo in my family life. What am I doing about it? Okay. Perfect. If that's what Republicans stand for, what are you doing about a personal responsibility? Then, damn it, Republicans, take some personal responsibility and ask yourself, how many universities have you started? How, how many schools have you started? How much time have you put into it? Why don't you take your top 40, 50 richest billionaire Republicans and say, Set aside, you really want to do this? Oh, I'm going to give 100% of my money away. To what? Bullshit charities? Yeah, no, stop, why don't you stop spending your why don't stop you sending take, your money to these institutions but just because you graduated? Because they're from not them. united and they're lazy. I Get agree. together and say, here's fifty billion dollars over the next twenty years to build some incredible campuses and universities to compete against the Harvards and the Yales and the Berkeleys and all this other stuff. How about we go do So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.